Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a pretty cool thing on Google Maps. And this goes along well with what I showed you the last time from Zillow, from the Zillow Make Me Move for Sale by Owner thing. Um, happy Thanksgiving again to everybody. And let's go into this right now. So first things first, let's dive into maps.google.com. That's where you're gonna find a map. Uh, normally you find a map of wherever you live or wherever you're at. Uh, at this point, um, I'm right here today in Newbury Park. And what I want to do is I'm gonna shift it over to my other maps. So make sure you're logged on, you log in here, click that little button. You can sign in. I'm signed in, so it's asking me to sign out. What you want to do, though, is click on this. On the left-hand side, you see three little lines here towards the top left of the map. You see you're going to have a whole bunch of choices. What you're going to want to do is go to Your Places. There you're going to click, and you're going to have a choice labeled, saved, and visited, and you want to go to Maps. Click on Maps, and you're going to want to go to Create maps you can create your own maps here i learned this about a year ago in in the group which was nice i don't remember from who but they were showing us how to do this and so now i'm showing it to you it's an amazing feature to have here's why i've created a map of pocket listings so here's how it looks you see i have for sale by owners that do want to sell they just don't want to use an agent I have make me moves from Zillow that want to move, they just don't want to work with an agent now. Uh, none of the expires that I've called want to sell on their own. Off markets that we have, properties that are not on the market that are ours, and here are off market properties from other agents. Now this is something that I just started redoing so it's not very full, but I wanted to show you because it's been so amazing for us already. I'm already showing this one right here, the little red one. And we're showing this one over here as well, two for sale by owners, because our clients don't have enough property or inventories to see, inventory to see. So it's really cool. This way you can send it out to people. You can even embed this into your website if you really want to and you have permission. Uh, here's, here's how to do this. We want to open it in my map so that you can see the features that it has. Here's where you can edit it. You can change the colors. You can change the icons. If you hover over them, you can see all the information I have. I've got a picture of the property. I've got the phone number for the for sale by owner. I've got the little details. And if I click here, it takes me to the Zillow page of where I found it. So it, it benefits everybody on my team. They're able to see it. They're able to contact the owner and see if we can show the home. This is a great way to add value for yourself and for all the people that you're working with. So take a look at this, see what you can do with it. It's, it's an amazing feature. It's so, there's so much you can do with this, not just for, not just for uh, expires for sale by owners or everything else that you see here. You can really do whatever you can with a map. Have all the agents that you've ever referred out to, have all your solds or all your uh, future sales, everything that's pending, just so you can map it out and then share it with people. This is how I've been using it. It's free and take a look. So you all know that I call for sale by owners and Zillow make me move. So here's a great example of one that we called and I removed it from the list so you could see how it is to put it in. So I went into, take a look at the other video, I'll show you what I did with the make me moves and for sale by owners. I found this one, it has no phone number, it just has an address and no name of the owner. I've contacted them, but they didn't get back to me. So what I did is I jumped into Cole Realty and Cole Realty Resource, if you know it, it's a place where you can search for phone numbers, email addresses, cell phone numbers of almost anybody. But they give you about, I think it's about 50, 60% of the time you'll find the phone number. So here we go, Cole Realty Resource. I already have it here, as you can see. I typed in here, neighborhood search, cell phones and emails. That's where I went in, put in the house number, put in the street name, state, and then I click search, and then it's giving me the owner's phone number right here. Name's Deborah Fagan. They wanna do a make me move here. Now I have the phone number and I'm able to use it. 
right? Or I'm able to do a, a street search. Whatever I want to do, I can export it from here. It's just a beautiful thing. A great place to search for people that you don't have phone numbers for, don't have emails for. You can even do a radius search, map search. It's just a wonderful thing. So now that I have their phone number, what I would do here is copy this one, go into my pocket listing section in the map. And I know this is a make me move. So here's, here's the make me move section. Here's another table. Here's how the table looks. Isn't that great? Now, a lot of people get confused as to how you add one. Well, you just drop in the address right there. Let me just make sure I have the address. See how easy this is. This is beautiful. Put in the address. Choose the one that they choose for you, Google. Maps it. You want to add it to the map. What do you want to name it? Edit it. What's the price on it? $13.99888. So we got $13.99888. And phone number we've got from here. What's that? 635-1466. All right. So, so far so good. And we've got the description here. We've got the link. Description is easy. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 2,700 square feet. Three beds, two baths. What was it? 1,700 square feet? 2,700 square feet. There we go. 2,700 square feet. So now you save it. You can change the icon. We know it's a blue one. So I kept it as blue. I just want to add a little house, make it cuter. And if I want to add a picture, what I would do is I would choose whichever picture I want from here. Uh, I pick a good one. Looks like the owner took pictures himself. Uh, pick probably the best one I can find. This one doesn't look too bad right there, right? That one's not bad. Save the image to my desktop. Go in again here. Now I have a picture, drag it, done. And now when you're searching through your database of properties that are not on the market yet, it's going to show up there here. Let's scroll out of the map. So you can see it. See how great that is. You scroll over, you see a picture. You're like, Hey, you know what? I've got a client that I'm working with that's looking in this area. It's not on the market yet. So make sure you're using it. Another great thing you can do is when you were calling expired, see, I've been calling expired, but none are here. When you're calling expired and you find somebody that is willing to sell, just has a high price, throw them on here. And we use, we use land voice and espresso agent. Uh, as that source to get expired and for sale by owners. Uh, but just wanted to show this with you. It's an amazing thing. I love it. It looks so clean. Uh, here's, here's how it looks. It's just beautiful. You have any questions on how to do this or you're stuck somewhere, give me a call. But in the meantime, uh, thanks for tuning in again. And I hope you have a great Thanksgiving.